case you haven't noticed, I'm black, so let's get it out of the way. Hi, I'm Alice Noah, I'm 17 years old, and I think role models are one of the most important things in life. I think everyone should have a role model. Be it your mom, your dad, a superhero, a movie star, and if you're a psychopath, a footballer. Role models are one of the most important things to have for your emotional and mental development, which probably explains why I am the way I am today. That's a joke. Kind of. Growing up, there weren't a lot of people I could relate to. Not physically anyway. See, every time I turned on the TV and went on to Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, all the characters I really saw were white, blonde, brunette, straight hair. No one really looked like me. Hannah Montana, iCarly, Victorious, Good Luck Charlie, to name a few. Unfortunately for me, I messed down the Fresh Prince and that's where we've been crazy. I remember tuning in to the pilot episode of Ant Farm for the very first time. And I was mesmerized by the TV screen. I had all the episodes recorded and I even had an Ant Farm lunchbox. China and McLean played the main character, a black woman. Seeing a young, talented black woman dominate the Disney Channel for a short period of time, it was amazing, inspiring, even. Yes, of course, she was made to wear a wig that was straight and fell below her back, but us black kids can't have too much representation. We gotta take what we can get. But for once, a black actress wasn't just cast as your run-of-the-mill black best friend. She wasn't the stylish, sassy, finger-waving, don't-need-no-man black character that was just used for plot development. Yeah, I caught on to that theme fairly quickly as a kid. I remember watching the trailer to The Princess and the Frog for the first time. And my eyes were glued to the TV. I was at my aunt's house for the, at the time, and my cousin actually said Tiana looked like me. I was shocked. I didn't know a Disney princess could look like me. I almost cried, in a mixture of happiness and confusion. I didn't think black princesses were allowed. I thought Disney was breaking the rules. I grew up in Arizona for the first 10 years of my life. A red state predominantly conservative, predominantly white. I didn't really have any black people in my life. I was adopted by a white family. I'm not complaining, of course, but they didn't have any black folks in their life either. I guess they didn't need to. I hear that every little black girl needs a black woman in her life. I didn't have that. All of my friends were white. The black kids didn't want to hang out with me because I was too white for them. Not in genetics, but in mannerisms, music taste, fashion, and hair. I hated my hair. My mom would always straighten my hair. I'd always ask her to straighten my hair. Curly hair was ugly. You don't see a lot of afros on TV. Maybe in circuses. Or when your hair is described as messy or unkempt, people describe it as an afro. Messy. Unattractive. I hated it. My hair, that is. And my nose. It was bigger than the white kids. I also hated my skin tone. It was darker than all of my friends. On my very first day of kindergarten, someone called it dirty. I actually used to think that 
the lack of melanin in my palms was my actual skin tone. And I hoped that if I stayed out of the Arizona sun for a long enough time, that my skin would lighten up and I'd look more like my friends. Black, black was ugly to everyone around me. And that mindset rubbed off onto me. Growing up with no one but white kids who fit the Eurocentric standards of beauty, it can do that to a person. Seeing white girls tan their skin to be darker than mine, getting lip fillers, braiding their hair to multiple strands that fall freely from their head, that, that is just a little more infuriating when you've had to grow up black. But seeing more black people on my TV screens, it's beautiful. Seeing natural hair, curly, coily, matted, knotted, braided, it's beautiful. My nose, my hair, my melanin, my culture, my music, my food, my eyes, the extra four hours I need to put in once a month to detangle my hair, as infuriating as it is, it is beautiful. The black TV protagonists I get to see other black kids look up to and grow up with. Those black protagonists, those black role models that I never got to have is beautiful. Black is beautiful. And it took me 16 years to realize that.